everyone, this is Lila. Today I'm gonna show you my summer fashion everyday makeup. First, I will use Suemla Moisture Essence Gel to moisturize my skin. Actually, this is a gift come with my Suemla foundation. I'm using it just because I want to finish it. So you can use any other moisturized serum to replace it. After I apply it, I will wait until it's half dry. Next, I will use the Suemla Mousse and the Pentagon sponge to apply it. The mousse has a very interesting form that I'm really obsessed with. Although it can barely cover my redness and pores, I still like it a lot because it's light, fresh, and it can even my skin tone but still looks natural. To set up, I will use the Su Wemla Light Bulb Compact. The sponge has two sides. The furry side can polish the outcome to make it more natural. And this compact has a little bit pearl shine to glow your face. I'm always a fan of dewy skin than a matte skin. That's why this is my recent favorite compact. Now I will use the Benefit Hula Bronzer with the Sephora number no. 53 brush to apply it. I think I'm a bit too tiny to make it obvious, so I always have to apply it a lot and still not sure if it makes my face smaller. Let's try to contour my invisible nose as well. For the cheek, I'm using the Clinique Cheek Pop. The shade is Cola Pop. I didn't tend to buy it, but I got this as my birthday gift. You will have to be really careful when using it because you could accidentally look like a monkey butt when you put it too much. For the eyeshadow, I'm using this Hiro Odagiri palette. This is a gift from Supreme Magazine April issue. I really like the shade on the right corner. It's a purple-pink kinda shade. I will use my finger to give it a natural look. And now my eyes look bigger and deeper. How do you think? Then I will use the Kiss Me Brown Eyeliner. Only gives the outer corner a simple upline. This is like a milestone for my makeup history, cause I always do a really bad eyeliner job. Only draw the outer corner helps me to have a perfect sexy cat eye look. And now it's time for lashes. Then we are gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hill palette, but only the Cypress Umbra shade. Draw it on the downside of my outer corner, and now we have a smoky, bigger eye. For the highlight, I use the same Hiro Otagiri palette. This highlighter is shiny but soft at the same time. I will apply it on the front head, my nose, and my chin. I used to not draw my eyebrows, but after I got this Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil, I started to like it. It can fill up the blanks between my brows, which has disturbed me a lot. But since I started to do my brows, many people comment that my brows are weird. I think I will have to practice more, but I do recommend this product for eyebrow beginner like me. And here comes my favorite moment. This is Revlon Super Lustre Lipstick. The shade is Mink. This is the most beautiful lipstick shade I have ever seen. I like it so much that I want to buy hundreds of it in case it becomes discontinued. Look at that brown rosy matte shade, I think it makes me look more mature and elegant. And now we are all set. This is my summer everyday makeup. I don't use foundation cause it's fresher and better for my skin. The look are still dewy and shiny. I hope you like it and let's see you around.